Hello everybody, it's Claire here with a new project to share with you. It's this year's version of my event organiser, altered in the gorgeous St Nicholas papers. Let me just show you. The box itself comes as a kit and um, you get two album spines and covers, or two sets. Um, and it's quite square. As you can see, let's turn it round. Whoops, it's got a lift up lid. So quite deep. And let's turn it back to the front. It's got a storage section in the top with its lift up lid and ribbon support. Magnetic closure on the front here. And the little knobs, uh, wooden knobs that have been decorated with the papers and then there are two drawers that pull out so lots of room to store whatever you want to create your organiser kit for. It was originally designed um, as a Christmas storage box for all those bows and ribbons and tags and things that I always put away and then can never find so I thought um, what a great way of putting everything together and keeping it all in one place so every year I can find exactly what I want. Um, but it could be used for an event, any event, um, either organising an event or even a keepsake box from an event like a birth of a baby, a retirement, um, a fabulous party, all sorts of things. It can be whatever you want it to be really. Uh, the albums are a little bit different. There's two. So let's just move the event organiser out of the way. Um, I've kept the covers quite flat um, only because they need to slide into the um, holes or the sections on the event organiser. So you don't want to over embellish the front. Um, the whole thing can be made out of one pad of 12 by 12 paper, which is brilliant. As long as you choose your papers carefully and keep some by to cut out the elements. Um, I used a couple of sheets here to cut out the pictures and the flowers. I've done both of the covers the same. So with the spotty um, black and red papers as I thought they were a really good background for the cutouts and I'd used all the green paper on the box um, as the collection has two of each sheet in it. So um, that's the cover, we've got a little bit of um, border here, lovely picture and then the bows and the bells and then this is the file folder so a great little storage book for pictures. Um, I've added a little corner here so that you can tuck something in. Again I kept one of the sheets with the cutouts on to cut out the pictures and the borders and then each of the pages ties together with a ribbon and on the end of the ribbons are some little black dots if you can see them and glossy accents and that just makes them heavy so they don't sort of hang about. Ribbon ends are funny, aren't they? They fray. These ones won't. And then each of the pages, and there's six in the album, are all decorated in the same way and are like little folders. So you could put pictures in there, you could put snippets in there, you could put um, thank you messages, cards, whatever you want to, to add in. And then they all tie up. So tying them up, um, means that you can add perhaps more than you could if you had a magnetic closure. So they all tie up like that. And I've used the patterns and solids on mine only because we made this at um, my retreat and I hadn't actually finished the inside of the folder but we used up all of the papers um, that I had for my kit. Um, on doing other things so I had to resort to covering mine in patterns and solids when I eventually finished it but from the 12 by 12 pad you have enough paper to cover the whole of this book and the next one as well so I'll just show you the front of each of the sections so 
I've just used the borders and the cutouts. You could use anything, you could add more if you wanted to. I'm a real less is more kind of a crafter, so I like to keep things quite simple. And also I think Graphic 45 papers um, are just beautiful and don't need to be um, over embellished for them to look beautiful. So that's the file folder. So we'll slide that in the organiser. You can't see it because it's off the screen. And then here's the planner. So the spines are both the same on the album. So I've just added a little um, floral spray here. I've got a little border, a cut from the signature sheet. And then I've gone with the extra elements from the signature sheet that we didn't use. We cut out the St Nicholas picture so this was left and the stamp so I've just added those to the front a little border some red stickles and some glossy accents oops you can't see <laughs> sorry and um, it just makes a really lovely cover and then inside this one is the ring binder so we've got some more fussy cutting I did lots actually out of the papers I've gone black for my page dividers but you could use any colour and um, this was an old Sizzix die, I think a Christmas one, I think it came with a spray, holly leaves. And then I've cut the St Nicholas banner out of the paper and used um, creative expressions, I think this bauble was, um, die. And then just some fussy cut flowers over the top just to make it look really Christmassy. And then that one's got a banner in the middle that says peace that I've put a hint of um, treasure gold on. I've made my own whole reinforcers just to match the collection and then added cream pages into the sections with stamps from last year's Christmas Carol collection, I think. It might have been before, actually. It might have been Twas the Night Before Christmas. Um, and then just matched up the whole reinforcers. Each of the dividers I've put a, a cut-out bauble on and some flowers, but you could title them with whatever you want if you were going to make it and you can add as many sections in it as like as, as you like if you wanted to use this as um, a wedding memorabilia box this could turn into a guest book which would be really nice and you could make it as pretty as you as you want to match the theme so that's the the little planner and that too fits into the box so here it is all completed with its albums in and um, ready to be used so I hope you've enjoyed watching the video I'll put the descriptions to the kit and the PDF tutorial if you fancy making it in this year's Christmas collection uh, below in the description don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe if you'd like to be kept up to date with new projects as I bring them out thanks for watching